We can help you with investing, but don't ask us to explain what in the heck slope style is. Investor Beat starts now. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Hill. Quiet start to the week on Wall Street. No economic data of note to really move the Dow, NASDAQ, or S&P 500. Tomorrow, most eyes will be on Capitol Hill when new Fed Chair Janet Yellen testifies before a congressional committee. The rest of the eyes will, of course, be on the Winter Olympics. Joining me in studio today, Taylor Markerman and Matt Argusinger. Guys, our top story, AOL CEO Tim Armstrong said over the weekend the company will reverse a recent change to its 401k plan. AOL had decided to give employees a lump sum contribution instead of matching contributions throughout the year. Armstrong said part of the change was that care for two, quote, distressed babies in 2012 cost the company about $1 million each. Armstrong has since apologized for the remark and is most likely praying at the moment for another CEO to make a verbal gaffe as <laughs> soon as possible. Uh, all kidding aside, we are seeing other companies take this road when it comes to 401k plans. Why are they doing it? Well, you know, if you think about it, paying someone in a lump sum at the end of the year as opposed to per paycheck, um, it, it saves administrative costs. It allows companies to hold on to more of that cash. Uh, and then if you have any you know, employees that manage to leave during the year, guess what? You don't have to pay them. So it's, uh, it, you know, it, it's saving companies money. It's obviously bad for investors, especially employees who, are, who are, don't have a, another savings plan because they don't get to sort of dollar cost average and invest throughout the year. They don't get that matching con contribution early to, so they can invest it. It's, it's bad news for employees. You know, partial good news for companies. We don't talk about 401k plans. They're rarely in the mm -hmm. news in the spotlight the way they are now. For someone watching who's just maybe thinking about their 401k plan for the first time, what advice would you give them? Uh, I definitely highly advise to take advantage of your company match. Obviously, if they're back, if they're waiting till the end of the year, it's not quite as advantageous. But nonetheless, that's free money that you can take advantage of. And some plans will let you self-direct a little bit too, so you can maybe try investing out on your own. I wouldn't recommend that right off the bat because you can get in the mutual funds through your company's 401k plan. But a lot of opportunities, but I definitely would take advantage of it. Uh, Tim Armstrong, this is not his first uh, gaffe of sorts. We had the no. recent conference call where he fired an employee during yeah. the conference call. Uh, is this guy really on the hot seat? Well, he's certainly winning himself a lot of fans. Yeah. I, mean, I, I guess I, I, I don't know. I mean, we, as we talked before the show, I mean, the, I guess AOL's with this 401k potential new plan, they're going to save about $7 million. Well, his compensation, I think, last year was $12 million. Yeah. I, so, yeah, he's already in the running for, as we talked, you know, for worst, dec worst CEO of the decade, and it's, we're, what, three and a half years in. So, ooh, Tim Armstrong. <laughs> Let's get to some of the day's movers and shakers. Shares of Boardwalk Pipeline Partners are falling through the floor and hitting a 52-week low. Fourth quarter results for the natural gas transporter were weak, but that's not really the whole story, <laughs> is it, Taylor? No, it certainly isn't. The only thing down more than their stock price today is their distribution which they cut 80% in this upcoming quarter. Uh, so obviously investors sold off quite heavily, not just individual investors, but you look at some ETFs or mutual funds that have mandates for different dis di uh, distribution levels, and obviously they have to sell out based on that. But uh, this company is in a world of hurt. Thankfully, they have a general partner in Lowe's, which was able to grant them $300 million in debt to fund some capital expenditures for growth moving forward. If it wasn't for them, they would even be in a worse situation. So while their distribution coverage is around four, which is really high for the industry, um, obviously nothing safe right now. Changyu.com, the Chinese online gaming company, had pretty good revenue and profits for Q4, but shares are falling on disappointing guidance. And oh yeah, the CFO <laughs> is also leaving. <laughs> right, not not yeah, you know, not great news. Especially you know, Shengyu is it's one of those on you know online gaming companies in China. There's there's plenty of those out there. There's Sohu, Giant Interactive, Perfect World, lots of competition in the space. So what investors are looking for to take the risk on these is a lot of growth. And the way they're revising down the revenue for the current for the upcoming quarter is it, it wasn't good. And yeah, at the same time, every time a chief financial officer leaves the company, especially leaves the company to <laughs> pursue other business interests, that's generally a bad a sign of bad things to come. So definitely bad for Shengyu today. Fourth quarter profits for Hasbro down slightly thanks to falling sales in the U.S. and Canada, but shares up today on what? Optimism about the rest of the world? I guess just about everything. You've got uh, share purchase restructuring, repurchasing more shares, higher dividend, talks about great sales around the world outside of North America. So the uh, management team really did kind of throw everything at investors today other than good earnings. And finally, Tesla Motors does not report earnings until next week, but shares hitting a new all-time high today on expectations of what exactly that report will bring. 
Are we also looking at international with Tesla Motors as well? Oh, I, well, I think so. But, uh, you know, what happened to all those those car fires we were hearing about last fall? It's like <laughs> we, everyone's forgotten about that, and the stock's at an all-time high. But, yeah, I mean, it's it, they've got some good news from Consumer Reports today. They're the fifth most, um, I guess, coveted uh, car brand in, in North America now, and so that's, that's pretty good. That's awesome. uh, really, though, yes, I mean, Stories China, you know, they, they're... They're leveling out their price there in China, which is which is going to probably lead to high demand for the car. We know how many cars they they're going to they sold last quarter, 6,900. Uh, so we know that's the number they're going to hit. The question for the conference call next week is, what are cars going to look like for 2014? 30,000 cars is the number for the year, but what's it going to look like for the next quarter and for the full year? If they if they blow out those numbers, then I think it, the stock deserves to be a 25 billion dollar valuation. If they don't. Look out below. Oh, yeah. So, regardless of the quarterly results, you're watching the guidance. Oh, definitely. It's all about guidance right now. All right, that's going to do it for today's action. Uh, give me a stock I can put on my watch list. That's Gold Corp, uh, one of the strongest gold miners in the world. Reports later this week on Thursday. I'm looking at it because it's got the best balance sheet in the industry, been able to weather the storm that you saw in late 2012 and all of 2013. So, I'm looking at some QA to see if the uptick in gold prices to start this year has them changing some expectations that they that they talked about just a few weeks ago. All right, Manny, what about you? Well, I'm watching Zillow. They report this week as well on Wednesday. Um, you know, they had a great Q3, and I want to see if some of the momentum and traffic, some of their premier agent subscriptions, and their average revenue per user, if those all keep have kept growing the way they have in, the, in Q4, um, that'd be pretty good for them. So I'm watching out. All right, for Matt Argusinger and Taylor Muckerman, I'm Chris Hill. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.